Hi there, Joka here from A Pocket Full of Happiness and in this video I'm going to show you a bunch of new products that are available in the shop today and let's start with this one here called Animal Balloons. As you can see there are a bunch of different uh, animals and they will have different layers that you can uh, use. Then there is a, a 5 by 7 inch cover plate called Wheel of Fortune, then um, a sentiment uh, called Celebrate, another one called Party Time. Uh, there's also some party hats with that one, and then there is Make a Wish that has a sentiment and uh, some candles, sorry about all the lint in the, those uh, sleeves. Um, <laughs> I don't know, the magnet somehow, uh, or the magnetic sheet somehow attracts those as well. So uh, let's start with this one. Uh, in one of the other videos I explained, but it might actually come later in my um, on my channel because I'm not doing the voiceovers in order, it seems. Um, Although I think it was in the numbers background video, which will come earlier. So anyway, I explained why I add the white layer as well. Um, it is a help for me to layer up the, the colors. Um, I find it helpful, but obviously you don't need to do that. And here I'm just showing that uh, if you want, you can add two colors or actually many different colors with um, those dots, but I will not bother. I'm just using the solid layer for one color and then the, um, the this polka dot layer for another color, but I'm not going to fill back in any kind of colors. But obviously you can make it uh, colorful. However, the dots are not the same size, so <laughs> that could be... Um, a bit of a challenge. So this is what I did. I die cut a lot of these animals and there's a bear, a rabbit and a cat. And then I used two different colors for each of them. And then I'm just um, also adding a solid layer of white cardstock to make it all uh, even more firm and then there is um, a few options here with the stripes the the, the bear and the rabbit have uh, a striped option so I'm um, I die cut this layer from a bunch of colors and then I will create some colorful um, balloons um, I actually die cut it from more colors than uh, needed. I think that was the number of colors that the rabbit needs, although I'm not sure. Um, so it, I just created a variety of, uh, of things. Um, and then the rest that I had left over, because I did have some left over, I packed in these, um, what was this called again? Press and seal. Um, I packed it in that so I can use it later. And what I decided to do later uh, is add the white details because to the left, you see the highlights and to the right, you see the shadows basically. So I'm just adding the highlight. However, you could also just use a white uh, gel pen uh, for this if you don't want to spend time on this. And what I forgot to do or maybe I didn't even, not that I forgot, I just didn't even think about it. Um, I did not add the eye and the nose. You could also just color those um, with a black pen or, you know, I did not uh, add that detail. But you can go more detailed than I did here is what I'm saying. And... Um, what else is there to know about this? Not much. So first, I, as you saw, I tried to just add glue to these uh, uh, spaces, but and then put the dye over it, and then just press the shapes in there. But somehow, I find it um, it doesn't work for me that much. So I just um, go about it this way you know I just add a little glue to all these pieces and use my tweezers now um, the first card here I am creating a tone on tone uh, sentiment so the background is the same 
color as the sentiment and then I make the sentiment really dimensional so that it uh, pops out anyway even though it's the same color so I used I think three um, layers for each letter each letter I, I hope <laughs> three or four um, and then I also just will use a bunch of balloons on this um, layout I think it was a five by seven inch card and um, I'm also using this DMC thread um, this is from the Spabinders shop and instead of because I actually in the die set you also get a I think two different um, shapes that you can use for the thread but I like to add the different textures so I like to add either twine or something like this because this is actually thinner so it's easier to to work with it and then I just wrap it around the um, the balloons and I use some double-sided tape for this and I'm also covering that with a piece of uh, copy paper just because I want to move uh, those balloons around on my uh, background. I don't want them to be sticky just yet. And I kind of thought that that helps uh, keep everything in uh, place. So I'm adding um, my background. It's uh, just slightly smaller than the card base. And then I'm going to try to figure out what I want to do with the balloons, how I want to arrange them. I try to not put the same color um, next to or, or close to each other or the same animal but um, since there's only three animals uh, that's not gonna work probably and then my idea is that I'm going to wrap the 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 thread around the um, the, the letters <laughs> but I think I overcomplicated that and it just did not look the way I imagined it and it, it could be better or maybe I could have just um, left them like this because I also like this kind of wavy more organic look um, in fact when I first try to wrap um, the, the thread around the letters they look okay but then of course I start uh, um making uh, all kinds of mess about it but <laughs> you will see that and um, yeah I mean it's a learning process I guess uh, you can just see here what you should not do <laughs> um, but it, it, it's okay I don't know why I didn't want to leave them just uh, hanging about there so I am trying to create some more dimension here um, and because of that I'm going to add a few foam tapes here and there so that that basically I have more rows of um, balloons and other than that um, it's actually just a very simple card once you you know once you do all the die cutting and all the all the uh, gluing that's the most time consuming part basically um, and once you have all of those um, and you can start working on your cars, you will see that um, they, they come together uh, really fast. And then also because I, I really die cut a lot, uh, I die cut all, all the shapes from all the card stocks that I uh, chose. So uh, it turned out to be way more than I needed. So I also ended up with the a lot more cards than I intended to make and um what did I want to, oh yeah that this video because of that this video is also super long but I hope I can um or or the video helps you in some way so you see I wrapped that uh, those two threads around the P and then I will keep uh, lining up the letters and always checking what goes where um, before for um, gluing everything down 
first of all, obviously, I want to look at the letters that I can wrap the thread around. So in this case, the um, the next balloons are kind of over the T. So that's where I want to anchor them. And I am uh, tying knots here because the, the, the thread was going in directions that I did not want it to go. Um, so I was hoping that this changes that, but not not quite. Uh, plus the T, you know, I just needed a little bit of help so that that stays in place. And uh, the next one I'm going to do on the Y. I'm sure you can do this uh, much better <laughs> than I did here. And um, yeah, my tweezers came in handy. I just cannot, I, I cannot deal with things this small. Um, I really need the, the tweezers. So I do not know, I don't remember why I did that, why I threaded that through the A. Um, Maybe I'm actually going to, no, I thought I, yeah, I'm going to remove it. I, I did remember this right now. Um, I don't know why I did that. So I'm, I'm just uh, going with the flow here and uh, trying to kind of move the thread out of the way as well. I'm going to trim those later so that they are not all over the place. And now I'm going to wrap around the, or, or tie those um, threads around the remaining letters. Once done, I'm going to move on to my next card. I cleaned that up a little bit. Um, I don't know what uh, happened there, but I use that. Um, it's kind of like an eraser that helps with little uh, things like glue or whatever. Um, so my next card, I am preparing the celebrate sentiment for this one. And as you can see, it's the, it, it's the font that you guys all like. And this time I kind of arranged it a bit differently just so that it looks, uh, well, not all the same. And also kind of that you can use this in the center of the card and it's more, you know, <laughs> But well, you see, it's not just one long sen sentiment, basically. And also, it's a bit uh, bigger than the um, the other ones. So it's kind of, it's a standalone thing. But um, I do exactly the same as always. Two layers of the solid shape and then the outline shape, all from a white cardstock. And then I die cut it again from gold. Uh, and um, I added the letters in gold. So basically same as on the first card, but the, this one is now um, a different orientation and uh, I will attach the balloons to the celebrate um, sentiment. But I did go about it a bit differently, uh, learning from <laughs> the first one. I will actually just uh, tie a knot around the whole bunch of balloons and then I will kind of thread it through the 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 letters so first of all I have to glue down all my balloons and uh, first layers I'm using liquid glue and then um, the ones that pop out a little bit or pop off the the, the page they will have at least one layer of um, foam tape. Some will have two layers depending on um, what I have to add before them. And then I'm trying to arrange this again uh, in a way that it has um, different colors. Um, but as you can see, that doesn't always work. I even have two cats there, um, the same color, same, you know, everything. Um, I wanted to use more of the striped balloons. I should have um, made more, I think. Um, yeah, and then once this is done, I am going to tie the knot around. Um, or I, I don't know how, how to even 
put that, but just tie a knot uh, or tie all of these threads together. First, it was a bit challenging, um, even with the tweezers. Uh, but as you can see, um, I managed. And then I added some foam tape to my sentiment and I left uh, like a gap where I did not add that um, so that I can just pull the th thread through there. And originally I wanted to tie another knot. So like, you know, that it's the all the balloons are tied to the sentiment. But then in the end, I didn't manage to do that. So I just simply added or filled that gap that I left earlier. I filled it with a uh, foam tape and that's done. So these little things, they are accessories in the die uh, set. So there's like little bows and bow tie that you can add to the balloons. But uh, I did not know uh, originally that I'm not gonna use them. So instead of uh, adding them to my balloons, I use them as a shaker element. And uh, to create my card front, I'm using the party time uh, die. And I, uh, I die cut this from a blue cardstock and also from white because I want uh, this card front to be sturdy. So I am now layering it up. I did not manage to die cut it in the same same position on the um, card stock. So I am now trimming off the edges. It's not too bad. There was like a couple of millimeters difference. So that's um, totally fine. So I am using some acetate from Spa Binders. It's actually the, the Glimmer uh, acetate. That's what I have. So it's really nice and thick. Um, I'm adding a piece to back up the, uh, or to, to back that party time sentiment. And then I am starting to work on the design of my card front. And since I had a lot of these die cuts, I wanted to use up as uh, many as I could. So I am uh, covering the whole uh, background with these. And they actually really fit uh, very well into those nooks and um, crannies everywhere. So sometimes, you know, you have shapes that just don't really fill uh, out the the uh, whole thing so well. But of course, you can add uh, little enamel dots or whatever in between them. But this was, I think, these worked really well. So um, I am going to glue them down and then... I will trim off the excess and in fact, um, well, like always, I am going to also use some of those that I uh, trim off. To be honest, um, sometimes you don't even need as many die cuts as you imagine because you use half, half of one. Um, on one side and half of the, the, the other half you just uh, use on the other half of the card. Um, normally I try to do that, but uh, right now I just had so many anyway that um, it was all fine. Um, last minute decision, um, I changed that uh, bear to a cat and now I'm kind of uh, done with it while the like the main um, arrangements anyway. And then um, I'm trimming off everything. So um, actually, I don't think I need it. I really need it to add anything to fill it up that much. But since I had them, I don't like to waste um, these things. Of course, the bigger pieces I will keep for a future project but um, not the small ones. I always say for a future project and then I probably never ever get back to it because I don't know, if I ever use a die uh, again, I like to go with different colors just so that the, you know, even if, if the design is similar, at least the colors are different. So it all looks different. Now I'm using this... Um, um, tape that I actually 
wanted to use because I wanted to put some lights in there but then I changed my mind because somehow it just didn't light up um, the, the whole thing the way I wanted it and uh, I did not want to waste more of the little lights than necessary so I'm just going to use those on another project where it makes more sense um, but then I had to use this tape and now it's super dimensional because it's, it's actually very thick and I did um, like two layers so I'm adding this which I actually didn't know about that it's a glow-in-the-dark look this is gonna be a really really bad footage but it's complete darkness now and <laughs> this is what it looks like I just wanted to show you because I was so excited about it I did not know that this was glow-in-the-dark um, shaker elements um, I think I noticed it uh, because the stars were so weird like the material was so weird and it reminded me of the of, of those things that were glowing in the dark really so um, I was super giddy about it um, and I'm gonna show you again what it looks like in the dark but uh, yeah sorry about the footage is really really crappy um, Okay, so moving on. That card is done. So there is another, um, this is called Wheel of Fortune, this um, 5 by 7 cover plate, and another possibility to do a lot of inlaying if you like, or like me, you know, the onlaying. Um, again, I like to add these on top. And um, if you actually, you don't have to die cut this, uh, the whole panel. Uh, the, the shapes are exactly the same. So basically what you could do, there is uh, 12, right? 12 circles. You just, and I think there's also 12 um, sections in the circle, circle. So you add 12 different colors and then every circle you can create in a rainbow sort of design, which was actually originally what I wanted to do. But at this point, this was only my second uh, video that I was working on so I really had to make haste so instead I decided on a grid type of design so some of the circles I uh, added some of the colors to that I was not gonna use so um, you know th the colors that I did not have in the balloons basically so and then the rest the white circles I'm filling up with the balloons if that makes sense. It's just a, like a grid type of design. And then I am adding the party, instead of party time, just party as a sentiment. And the the letters, again, they are three. Uh, they consist of three layers, I think. Two layers of white uh, cardstock and then the gold layer. And that's it for this card actually and since I still had a lot uh, of the balloons left and I wanted to use the um, Wheel of Fortune background again I die cut it from a, a really light um, pool type of color and here the, what I'm trying to show you but it doesn't really I don't know it's not very visible is that the letters this time I created with um, color cardstock and I also added a layer of uh, the darker pool color cardstock but kind of offset it a little bit so it should be visible um, from you know when you when you look at it but while well, you will see um, in a bit like here from this angle if you look hard, then you you can see it. In real life, I guess it, it's more visible than this, but um, okay. So this is the same concept, only this time I used um, even more simple background. So there's no um, inlaying, onlaying, nothing, and just... Um, just one color I think it still looks fun um, that background and of course um, it doesn't have to be 
a birthday card with this background. Um, that's what I like about geometric shapes that you really can use them for anything and everything. And in fact, that would be a perfect um, background for a guy as well. Um, I know that's always a problem. And that reminds me that my uh, husband has birthday in like five days and I did not make a card and I will also not have time for a card. <laughs> Oh God. Okay. Well, uh, anyway, so back to this, I hope I could give you some tips and some ideas with these die sets. I hope you like them. Uh, I know this video was quite long, uh, but I hope um, you enjoyed it anyway. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.